Los Angeles is an arts and creative capital of the nation. Aside from Hollywood, LA has many more museums, theaters, and galleries than around the country, in addition to live music venues, concert halls, libraries, and literary arts. COVID-19 hit the arts sector hard as performances, movie theaters, cultural venues had to shut down right away. According to Kristen Sakota, director of the LA County Department of Arts and Culture, the impact of that has reached more than $12 billion in loss of revenue and unanticipated expenses, as well as putting 5 million creative workers out of work nationally. In an effort to work around the quarantine, a lot of resources are now available on the LA County Department of Arts and Culture's website, which include relief grants and organizations that offer programs and services online. In addition to those, $10 million from the county's CARES Act relief will be implemented soon to help those who have been hit the hardest in this sector. Comedian Christina Wong shares her encounter of how COVID has forced her to convert her theatrical comedy show into one that streams from her own home. She also shares her experience with creating face masks and medical equipment through a group called the Auntie Sewing Squad, a group of artists who currently don't have income. The products are made now for indigenous people, farm workers, and those communities who don't have access to inexpensive protective equipment. According to Jose Luis Valenzuela, artistic director of the LA Theater Center and professor of UCLA School of Theater, Film, and TV, theater companies of color are very few and they each have very small budgets to run as they survive only by the work that they do. During this pandemic, these companies began to experiment with digital programming, but that does not earn them any money. His concern is that these small theater companies will not be able to survive this pandemic. Roberto Pozos is an artist from Imperial County, where COVID hit the hardest in California. The Equity and Justice Coalition brought him, along with 20 artists together in Imperial County, through Zoom to commemorate the suffering and deaths, and how to lift the spirits of the community. One way was to create a virtual art show that will run from September 28th to October 2nd, as well as a poetry night that will begin on September 24th. They will also create an outdoor art show that will consist of the submissions from the virtual art show.